When this document came to light in the late 1990s, there was a write-up in some of the local newspapers and got national attention. It's a pardon by Abraham Lincoln of a Union soldier sentenced to death by court-martial. It was April 14, 1865, which is the day that President Lincoln went to Ford's Theater later that night and then was shot by John Wilkes Booth. It had been identified by a researcher, Thomas Lowry, and his wife. He made this into a major story, that here he found this document that he believes is one of the last things signed by the President of the United States. This kind of put him into the, the Lincoln expert world where he then published a number of books. I started um, kind of using this document frequently on some of the, the VIP tours that I would give at the National Archives. And the more I used it, the date, it started to look a little hinky to me after a while. The ink on the five was a little bit darker than the, the rest of the date. And it looked like there was almost like a ghost image or something underneath it that it looked like it had been written over another number. Trevor went to the most authoritative source available, Basler's Collected Works of Abraham Lincoln. Roy Basler has transcribed Lincoln's endorsement, but it's not April 14, 1865. He has it as April 14, 1864. And that's when I presented what I had found to the Inspector General's office at the National Archives. I immediately said to him, there's one person I believe that would have done this, and that's Thomas Lowry. Myself and one of the investigators paid a visit to uh, Mr. Lowry's residence. He um, indicated that he snuck a pen in, it was a Pelican pen, and that he um, marked the document. He had um, changed the date for the simple reason of just getting some notoriety. We rely on primary sources and primary documents as the foundation of our profession. It's very galling and upsetting to me as a trained historian that someone would, would change a document to make it more historically significant than it actually is. Because of the statute of limitation, um, he will not be criminally prosecuted. But however, he will be um, banned from the National Archives. Civil War magazines, they still mention this as, you know, this is one of the last things that Lincoln did before he went to Ford's Theater. It's a very good tale that people like to tell, and they've been telling it the last 12 years. And unfortunately, that story ends up being untrue.